Hello everybody, it's Asha Marke here, Lemon Creation. I am so happy you could join me in this short video. And today I have two different sets uh, of ATCs. I already pre-cut my papers to uh, ATC size. This is a um, watercolor paper, but it's a very, very cheap watercolor paper. Uh, you can also use mixed media paper and since I'm gonna be using sprays uh, I prefer to use paper which can uh, withstand a little bit of water as you can see I'm using my Lindy spray spray but this one is very very old there is almost no paint left in it and so it doesn't want to spray anymore <laughs> which is not a problem because you know I always can uh, find a way to work with it so I try like that just by unscrewing the cup and just making the splashes on the paper. I didn't like the splashes too much. I wanted to have one big one and a few small ones. So that's what I got, <laughs> or that's what I did. I add a little bit of paint into the cup and I'll just uh, kind of put it on the paper. <laughs> what I haven't noticed with this paint, uh, and I'm not sure what I haven't noticed that because I know Lindis very well, I just, I think I was running. I didn't notice that, uh, or I didn't pay attention to the fact that it is actually a um, uh, starburst, which means that, uh, you know, I'm not gonna get only a black color, but this you're gonna see after drying that there is a hint of uh, silver. How oh, well, <laughs> things like that happen. And they happen quite uh, often to me lately because I am running between my shop, between the family, between the YouTube videos and all of that. I have noticed I am running quite a lot, but still, uh, there's been few mistakes I made with these uh, ATC cards. I still kept them in the movies, I didn't delete them, so you're gonna see while watching with me. Because as you may know already, uh, I am quite honest with what I'm doing, so if there are mistakes, I usually show them to you, unless they are really not worth it to be shown. So I'm using two of my stamps, uh, Blue Pines, that's the uh, one of the first stamps ever I made with VersaFine Onyx Black uh, ink. I was thinking of using uh, acrylic block, block, but I decided against it, finally. Uh, I love crunch. I am not a perfect per uh, person and I do not try to make my art look perfectly. And um, maybe not all of you like this way of doing things, but uh, well, this is just me. And I discovered recently that the best, the happiest I am, it's actually when I'm doing what I like. And uh, and actually, I got so much positive return also, so I think you may like also this messy kind of way of creating. So I tried to use the stamp two ways, uh, you know, uh, with uh, just by putting it on the paper, but I, you can also do it another way, if you don't mind about perfection. So you just put, you just uh, ink the stamp and then you put the paper on it and you just press slightly. And this is gonna be the second set of um, ATC cards. For this ones, I use uh, blue spray uh, from Lindy's. A list of the products you're gonna find down below. I actually do not remember the name of this uh, spray. And I'm using my second set of stab, uh, stamps, so texture. I just put a little bit of spray on the acrylic block or you can put it on the palette or wherever you feel like it. And I'm just dipping the uh, the stamp in it and just stamp it that way so I have exactly the same color on the stains and on the stamps. Now I'm gonna do some mixing. So I use cream paste from Stamperia, still all my time favorite. It's not running, it's quite nice to work with, it dries quickly and I decided to actually add a little bit of color to it so I'm using Lindy's Magicals and Guys, I started with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Autumn Maple Crimson and this is the color which it gave me, gave me. even though the color uh, is quite strong when you use it just normal way. So I started adding different colors. This one is Cuckoo Cloth Cardinal and um, for applying this paste, 
I'm gonna be using my completely, completely brand new stencil. Um, this one is, um, hmm, I don't remember the name. So I know it's very weird to not remember the name of the stencil, but believe me, I have it like for four days and I have two which I am completely all the time mixing up. So this one is messy runs, but there's another one running in circles and that's why I'm getting confused with those two. I need the time to learn the names. So I am basically applying the paste through the stencil, kind of irregular pattern. Uh, as you've seen on the stencil, you have two different sizes of uh, dots and they are uh, smaller dots and a little bit bigger. I'm trying to use mostly the smaller dots, but um, I want to add also one, two, three big dots, just, you know, to make it uh, more, I don't know, <laughs> interesting, I'd say. And uh, you have to remember also that you can make your own paste uh, by mixing it with the powders or even sprays. But if you mix it with sprays, just be careful guys, because it usually gets much more liquid and it's much harder to apply and it may very likely run under your stencil. So this is something to really remember. And the best way is actually to use powders. So you can use different powders uh, which are on the market. And when you mix it, you usually don't get the color which is shown on the box because of course the paste is usually white. So when you mix it with a white paste, you're gonna go the, get the color which is a little bit uh, brighter, of course. So that's why I add to the next mix Magnolia Magenta Gold because I found uh, that the color I had previously will not work very much uh, very well with blue so I add to the same mix a little bit of this magnolia magenta uh, gold and look guys at that it's so nice I forgot to actually uh, press record when I was doing the very first uh, ATC or from the blue series so that's why I was showing you later on you know the stencil it was already dirty and just for the very very last ATC I uh, didn't have enough of the paste so I tried hard to make it work it didn't work so I uh, add a little bit or I, I made a little bit more of the paste and I of course make a big blob of uh, paste which actually ran through the stencil because the first uh, part of the stencil the first application wasn't still dry so I decided either I'm gonna uh, throw it to the bin if it doesn't work, but I will try to make something out of it. So I used the remaining tiny bit of paste I had and I just kind of spread it on the uh, paper thinking that probably this one <laughs> exactly uh, will gonna go to the bin. I um, was showing you my hands, I always get dirty hands when I'm working with Lindy's, but it's worth it. And to get a little bit of contrast, I am using uh, Archival Ink. It's much nicer, actually. This one is drying much quicker than uh, VersaFine, so it's very good to uh, use for things like that, for uh, darkening the edges, for example, because simply you will not um, make too much transfer onto the paper if you are not careful enough. And as a focal point, I'm gonna be using the small uh, the small uh, silhouettes of children which i got from the pixaday.com and which i cut previously and i keep in my uh, like glued to the paper with the um, temporary glue dots and so like that i can take them out uh, check if they are working fine with the um, with the projects i'm making and if they are not uh, good, I'm putting them back in because, you know, they have this temporary glue at the back of them. And so like that, I can play with them to my liking and they are well conserved in most of the cases. And, uh, you know, I can use them uh, like that. I was, uh, you know, kind of uh, flattening them up, but uh, so the glue sticks well to the uh, page but I was doing that with the uh, by putting the mm, tissue, just normal tissue in between the layers, so I was sure that I'm not gonna get uh, any transfer from one card to the other and that is gonna be all clean as I wanted it to be. And I cut a few of the sentences from my two books. I mixed them both uh, super messy words and really silly words. And I decided for once to actually um, 
attach them with the stapler and because i knew that uh, they're gonna have the black backings so i knew that the stapler uh, from the back is not gonna be visible and um, as you know the uh, atc cards uh, are uh, roughly 2.5 by 3.5 inches uh, well they are exactly 2.5 by 3.5 inches which is roughly 6 by 9 centimeters but my black, uh, white part is tiny bit smaller and my black part is exactly the size of ATC, so like that I, I can glue them and I can uh, get a sort of uh, frame, black frame around it, which uh, gives a little bit of contrast and I think works very nicely uh, together. So uh, here they are, I hope you enjoy this short tutorial, a little bit of crunch, as I said, the things with me are not perfect, I'm not about perfection, so uh, I hope uh, this was... Uh, fun for you to watch and I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video. I'm sending you big big hugs and uh, as always I'm asking uh, if you like my videos please subscribe and check out my shop link below. Uh, once again big hugs bye bye!